so guys welcome to our first episode of this culture the talk show and i'm so excited because we've been doing all of these conversations and now it's time to put our voices to the word so um our discussion for today will be on sexual harassment particularly looking at um sexual assault as well including rape and looking at whether it is ever the woman's fault um, when she has been sexually harassed or assaulted based on how she has dressed. So before we go into uh, our discussions, I just feel like it's important that we look at the definitions of uh, both sexual harassment and sexual assault because I feel like a lot of the times, including myself, uh, we just hear these buzzwords. So I think it's best that we look at the definition. So sexual harassment, according to the British government, sexual harassment is any unwanted behavior of a sexual nature that you find offensive or which makes you to feel distressed, intimidated or humiliated. So that's the definition for sexual harassment. For sexual, sexual assault, in short, sexual assault is just uh, defined as any unwanted sexual contact where you feel like someone has violated you based on how they've touched you. or um, It's basically about touches. So um, with that being said, I now open the floor for discussion. So. Okay, so are women ever at fault or to blame for sexual harassment or assault? My personal opinion is never, ever, ever. How a woman dresses shouldn't warrant someone else's actions. If you are sexually harassing or assaulting anybody, that is your action. There was a time when wearing long, I mean, in Europe anyway, mm. there was a time when showing your ankles was sexually provocative, mm. right? And that warranted men's sexual, um, I don't know, like, yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, nowadays, if a woman wore something up to her ankles, it's not sexy, but you mm -hmm. could be sexually assaulted in the same manner, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? And I, don't, I personally don't think that whether or not you're wearing batty riders mm -hmm. or a long knee length, not knee length, but like ankle length skirts, should you ever feel worried that someone might sexually assault you or harass you? For me, I would have to say I slightly disagree. I feel that in some circumstances, women might have or do have a part to play in their sexual assault. For example, when women choose to do drugs or get high, you know, um, I feel like as an adult, I'm not talking about children, I'm talking about women, someone that's over the age of 18 years old, you have the responsibility on your life and you also have the responsibility, um, you know, on how you present yourself when you go out there. So if you choose to get drunk, not about the way you dress, you can dress however you want to, mm -hmm. but if you choose to drink alcohol and, you know, um, not do it in a moderate manner, I feel like you're putting yourself at risk. At the end of the day, majority of the time when someone is raped mm -hmm. or sexually assaulted, it's by someone that you know. Yeah. So True. dressing how or, or acting or even getting drunk around people that you, you know, yeah, in that you ways, know, mm -hmm. should be justified. And it doesn't. It doesn't change the fact that it happens. No. Ultimately, you don't even have to be drunk for for things to happen. People just think that you're drunk from even. You cannot be. You cannot be a drinker, right? There are some women who are not drinkers, but ultimately mm -hmm. they're very bubbly. They're very out there, yeah. and so in the mind of some perverted person, they think this person is drunk. Let me do that. Ultimately, my my personal thing is mm -hmm. is that the behaviour of a man or a woman, because it can be vice versa, mm -hmm. the behaviour of any human being is their responsibility. Unlike drink driving, very much like drink driving, mm -hmm. right? You're drunk, you're acting a certain way, you go out, you get into an accident, you kill someone, that's your responsibility. Mm -hmm. But sexual so assault is something, is something that is done to, to the you. individual, yeah. right? It's not someone like, unlike drink driving, where you are the one that is responsible yeah. for the action, yeah. 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 sexual assault is done to, to you. you. Yeah. From the definition you gave from the beginning, yeah. sexual harassment is more subjective. 
okay mm. in a sense harassment, that yeah, sense like harassment is more yeah. subjective mm -hmm. in a sense that where is how the person perceive your action mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay yeah and you tell that I was just sitting here right now. She kept putting her hands on me, mm -hmm. on my lap. Mm -hmm. yeah? Sorry, I'm very touchy as a person. There you go. I mean, I'm saying, you know, I'm just yeah. very I touchy. Don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't find nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So being subjective is how other person perceives yes, it. Yes, yes. And it turns that if you look at it, I'm not trying to be very feminist, but women tend to take things to the extreme. Mm -hmm. She was putting her hands on me. I've never complained. Yeah. I disagree with that, I but I will come in at a point. No, I, but that's, that's no, what we're talking about. Go ahead, go ahead. That's what we're talking about. No, I get what you're saying. Go ahead. For me, go ahead. It's just how you are, yeah. That's how I am. Most of my friends are like, oh, that's what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say, if I would have done the same thing to her, I wouldn't have taken it. Based on her, but some people are. Based on her, how she perceived my action towards her. She said, I'm sexually harassing her. Yeah. I feel like we are now living in a day and age where everyone just has to be very careful with uh, how we interact with everyone. Because at the end of the day, there are things within our society that have been going on for long. Like you said, oh, you know, women can be extreme with stuff. There are men that are sexual predators. Mm -hmm. And even for the ones who are not sexual predators, from time immemorial, men always, a lot of men do prey on women. They take advantage of the fact that a woman is supposed to carry herself in a certain way so they will touch you and make all of these sexual uh, gestures to you in your subconscious thinking that you are not noticing it. Mm -hmm. So I think what's happening now is that we are become, women are becoming aware and as much as sexual harassment is subjective, there's a certain way a guy will touch me Absolutely. and I would know how to interpret that mm -hmm. touch. If I've had an issue with a guy friend, yeah, and maybe... Is the best way to punish him? To, to no, no, no. If he comes and touches me, my first reaction is, I don't want you touching me because I'm upset with you. We are not friends anymore. We are not cool. I'm not even thinking about sexual harassment. And it's not just the touch. That's why I said it's more than the touch. It's how the touch makes me to feel. Mm. So my first instinct wouldn't be as much as I may have had an issue That's with That's why I say it's subjective because That's the way you feel, we need to be careful may, may, with, be the with something intention. being objective. As much as it's subjective, meaning that it's based on how, how you can feel. I, can I ask? I just need you to understand that whatever touch, you are going to touch that person. No matter how you feel that it's up to them to interpret it. It's really about how you touch them. Mm -hmm. That will even cause them so to can I, can interpret I ask, it in that way. Can I ask everyone, at what point do you feel sexually harassed? So, all the girls here, mm -hmm. do you ever feel like you've been sexually harassed or assaulted? And at what point... So, because, as you said, there is a difference, mm -hmm. right? There are times when we all know guys who are very... Just naturally, the same way that, touchy, as you said, yeah. you're very touchy. There are some guys who are exactly the same way. Yeah. You know the difference. Mm -hmm. I feel like what, what frustrates me is, is that sometimes society makes women feel irrational yeah. for their feelings. Yeah. At the end of the day, if I can defer between what is a guy and what is uncomfortable. What is yeah. But at what yeah. point, but I just, I want to ask. At what point do you feel, like, what would you classify as sexual harassment individually? I can tell you as a man. I can mm -hmm. tell you as a man what mm -hmm. makes me feel okay. well, because we don't complain. Yeah. Okay. It's like yeah. you approaching a guy, mm -hmm. you know, they get their gesture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The way, you know, they're the, your revealing bits that shows. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I disagree with that. No, we, it, it's such a. Actually, it's not just how I say it. 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 Yeah. Because we know we have no case. Right. Okay. Why do you case. feel like you don't have a case? Have Let's a case. hear from the other men in the room. Personally, uh, sexual assault, uh, harassment can be like said in different ways. Yeah. Okay. You know, if you have every person have to fix their limit. Okay. For example, if I touch you like this, mm -hmm. you know me. Yeah. It will okay. not be a sexual assault, harassment. Yeah, exactly. yeah. If you met someone yeah. outside, mm -hmm. you should tell. You should like make him like. We are friends, but yeah. know your limit. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, and also there's this, uh, the way of talking, mm -hmm. yeah. the way of acting. Mm -hmm. It's not about dressing. Yeah, yeah. It's basically the way of acting. Mm -hmm. If someone is standing in a nightclub and you come like, 
Dans put in your you bad boy. Mm. He will think like, yeah, he will be like yeah, confident. Yeah, yeah. He will tell it. Yeah. Maybe I please to bad girl, let me touch her. Mm. That's come like <laughs> automatic. <laughs> it's like taking a remote control on the TV because yeah. you feel comfortable with it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think there's a certain way of acting, mm. even at home, at work, so whatever you are, mm. you should fix the limit. Yeah. Yes. We are friends, but know your limit. Yeah. Don't come like to to come and scrub me yeah. and tell me like this. Hey, mm. know your limit. That's yeah. the, the thing I want to say. I'm not telling, but every people have their manners, every people have their culture and everything. But yeah. many men who are acting like this, they should be like concerned mm. that they are doing things wrong. Yeah. How many cases of sexual harassment by men? That has gone to the extreme that a woman is punished. Women are more... Okay, this is going to sound so biased and so wrong because I'm a woman it's coming from me. But, personally, I think it's hard to sexually harass a man. No, no, I, I don't, don't think so. I don't yeah. think so. No, you know what the problem is? I, I, think it's hard. I think it's the reason why I think it's hard to sexually harass a man it's just like, you're not going to go up to a random man that you do not know. But no, man, you... Wait, wait, and stop, like, gripping and touching. But, but you know, at the same time... I disagree. At the same I time, I disagree. wait, wait, let me land. Yeah, after, I'll come in. Let me land. At the same time, yes, you might know a guy that you fancy, that you want, or whatever, and you, like, make advances to him and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're in the DNA is where girls ask men out, so mm -hmm. it's, like, normal, it's common. Mm -hmm. But... Men, on the other hand, do not portray an attitude of no, stop. That's not true. I don't want it. That's why. That's why I was going to come in. So my view was that men and women sexually harass men. I'm a living testimony of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you explain? Yes. How? I was sleeping in the night. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend came in the room. Mm -hmm. My ex girlfriend. Yeah. No, but yeah. 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 She sort of touched me and said, "I'm tired, babe." Yeah. She said, "No, babe, I want some." Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I said, I'm tired. I want some. <laughs> okay? Yeah. And she did everything possible. Yeah. Yeah? To beat that boundary just to make sure she had what she wanted. I don't know if I How know. is that sexual harassment? There you go. There you go. The yeah. There is no. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because because the he don't want. It's the no, yeah. like, no, 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 I I think. No, right. You know what I think? I feel like in every sexual relationship, there's manipulation, there's negotiation. No, but oh, there's a sense of harassment. harassment. Wait, that I'm is kind saying, of I'm harassment. It can't be harassment, but I'm just saying during sexual interaction between two intimate partners, the other person, if the person can negotiate with you sexually there was to no get you. No, it doesn't have to be verbal. It doesn't have to be verbal. I think we need to be very careful because... Was it done in a forceful way though? Yeah, the, it, yeah, it depends. Yes, was yes, it, yes. Yeah. She yeah. Got, that, she that, that, that yeah. Yeah. No, okay, yeah, she yeah. should have pulled my trousers down yeah. and said that she wants yeah, some. Yeah, <laughs> Let me tell you something. I mean, something. if I should go explicit, I think there will be children watching. I don't if know it's my partner, I would. I'm sorry. No. You get it when you want to. can I get it when I want to? No, 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 no. I think we need to be very, very careful because at the end of the day, sexual harassment can happen within relationships too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's that we cannot, we cannot believe that just yeah. because we are yeah. in a relationship yeah. with someone, that it's okay for them to, okay, there's there's one thing about like, you know, you coerce, not even coercing, but like, yeah, I like to say negotiating. Into, yeah, that's so one thing. I was right? saying, even anything. for women, I'm sure. sorry, if I don't want to have sex, I will not have sex. Exactly. And, and if this okay. is one thing, it's one thing if like, if, it's one thing if it's like, okay, you've spoken me into it and I'm like, okay, let's go, right? But it's another thing if it's completely... Can I ask now, okay, now you and men And men also no. experience can this. I okay, now you tell me. Yeah, no, I like your intervention. Let me tell you some. Mm -hmm. I don't know can if I'm right with the law. Mm -hmm. Like he said, if, for example, it was another woman, not the one who was present yeah. here. Yeah. If it was another woman, he come into the room and tell babe, like pulling up the dress and he say, I want it. The girl say, no, 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 That's no, right. no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She will go to the police and tell, I say no, and exactly. she and he, he keep on saying yes. Mm. The guy will be sent immediately to jail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's taking me back exactly. about what I was saying. Mm. He was on his bed, tired. Mm. The girl coming and he, she want, she want, she want. 
when he see, when he say bad like he been false. You know what I mean? Well, if I report if you that, go back, can I ask a question? Like I'm telling you. Right, can I ask you guys an open question, all right? Would you consider mm. this as a rape? I'll give you an example. Me, for me personally, no, yeah, we like wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'll I'll yeah. Yeah. You're in a relationship with your partner. You are in a sexual relationship with somebody. You, you, I don't know, you live together, you sleep together. Forget about living together. But like, you, you know, you're constantly with each other, mm -hmm. right? And you're in bed together. And that person wants sex. Mm -hmm. And they just comes, you know, like... Wrap all up in your body, scrub What happens if you don't want? And wait, you slip it in. You you might not want to think, but it's already in, and you're enjoying yourself. Would you class that as a okay? Party? That's why I came. That's why I came in. That's why I came in. That's why. That's why I came in. No, no, that's why I came in. But he wants it. No, 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 no. That's why I came in. I say it's subjective and can be punitive, and it can be punitive. Okay, it depends on the mood of the person. And depends on how they feel, they can report to you, and it's rip. I think like this, this is this is the thing, right? When men and men are just as susceptible to rape mm -hmm. as Definitely. I mean, even though women, I mean, even though it doesn't happen as often, but we cannot. And I think this is a problem in, in our, within our society. People believe that men are not are, 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 are not as likely to be sexually harassed or sexually assaulted as women. Mm -hmm. What do we classify as sexual assault and sexual har and, and sexual harassment? If if you are in bed, whether or not you are a man or a woman, and someone literally forcefully and it doesn't have to be violently in a relationship, it, it's not always violent, mm -hmm. right? If so you are re and, yeah. and and for, for both men and women, it's uncomfortable, right? It's uncomfortable, sometimes it's painful. Mm -hmm. But just because you're in a relationship with someone does not make that right. Mm -hmm. And it still is sexual assault. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it's true. It's true that if a man reports it to the police, they're, they're, they're less yeah. likely yeah. to be, yeah. take, be taken seriously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I wouldn't, I'm, and by no means do I think, I think that's a problem within our society. It does not mean that, it doesn't make it right, oh, you know, if, if this happens to a man, right, or people will laugh, so why can't this happen to women? No, no, no. no. that's a problem with our society. Whenever we go back to mm. few years back, maybe like 20, 50 years, how many years back, the way society has been structured, especially yeah. on this whole gender issue, there are societal norms and expectations and things that are expected from each gender whether you are male or female mm -hmm. and one of those things um is the fact that men like men don't cry you know they feel like men cannot be raped they cannot it's be sexually be assaulted strong, yeah. harassed so it's because of the way the society position men mm -hmm. which is why people tend to overlook mm -hmm. when these things happen to men and which is why men a lot of the times, do not report when they have been assaulted by a female. It's a domestic and you know, so well. yeah. there is many men who like physically attacked by their, their men, yeah. also, yeah. like you said, mm -hmm. yeah. and they are like kind of shy or yeah. like they don't want to, don't want to be judged yeah. 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 with yeah. Be over people. Yeah. You know what the thing is now, women, what whatever we like or we don't like, women is still plays on a certain level, like, always being victim. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Whatever we like. Think... But, you know, some people in the society may, may not be realized that there is more strong women now yeah. than before. Exactly. But still, once they remove, like, women or victims, then societies, they will be equal. Mm. Exactly, exactly. You know? and, and I wouldn't even say there are more strong women now than before. Women have always been strong. No. We just have not been given the opportunity to, to express mm. that. We've always been strong. And I think this whole thing that, how do they call it, chivalrism? Mm. This whole idea that women are weaker than men. There's this victim mentality around mm. women. Mm. This, these are some of the things that... Um, brings about you know all of these sexual harassment and violence and the way we report these things when it comes to sexual harassment and se sexual uh, assault a lot of the times people feel like it's how you are you are dressed so because of that they attracted someone to you and come and do to come and do whatever they've done to you i had this incident in july and you guys know the mm. story i was neatly dressed going to work 
And mind you, I dress really professionally when I'm going to work. And I was sexually assaulted on the uh, on the train. And I was shaking, I was crying. Until it happens to you, mm -hmm. that's, that's why I hit when the opposite sex or even another female says it was just a touch. No. Because people do not understand the Wait, depth of these things. Yeah. Absolutely. It makes you feel felt it. I've heard a lot of people who this has happened to mm -hmm. be like, oh, I feel, you know, unwealthy, I feel dirty. Yeah. And I just be like, oh, what's yeah. about someone Absolutely. touching you in an inappropriate way Absolutely. that will make you feel dirty? But when that old man, who almost like maybe in his 60s, rubbed my thighs all through that train journey from Norwood Junction to mm -hmm. London Bridge, I just feel like dirty, dirty, because I can't, I couldn't even believe that he was getting. He, he was low about you as well. Yeah, to do that, you know, on the train. On the train in a public place, early morning, going to work, and he was getting an erection from it. <laughs> it was his erection one that made me to feel sick. really sick mm. to my stomach. Mm. And when things like that happen to you, you're voiceless. You're sure. Of course, you're, you're it's just it like a shock that makes you voiceless. And and people can't understand how mm. you wouldn't have said anything, how mm -hmm. you couldn't have done anything because mm. they know you as this very strong character is, and somebody yeah. who always has it's, it's, you know, it's a sense to say. of trauma. It's like when people and, fall and down. It's ridiculous. When people hurt themselves, they're always going to cry straight away. And at first yeah. they're going to be like, yeah, what's just, the yeah, it's like, yeah. this happened why to me? I think it's so important to stay away from victim blaming. Yeah. Because even like with my with with the incident that happened when I was abroad, mm -hmm. right? I would I remember the first thing that someone said was, "Why didn't you say anything?" Mm -hmm. Right? And the first it made me question myself. Mm -hmm. Someone else's action made me question myself. Mm -hmm. When I had done everything in my power around that time, I was in okay, I was in an Asian country, and I dressed completely conservative. Nothing was showing. I had my shoulders boiling hot country, by the way. Mm -hmm. Sh shoulders, elbows, everything covered, knees covered, ankles covered, a man still felt the need to touch me yeah. inappropriately on my journey somewhere, right? Mind you, I was still in a group, I was st still with a group of people, but because the bus was really packed, I wasn't sitting right next to them. Some people, this is why I, I believe that where do we draw the line on you need to be more responsible? Mm -hmm. Because in my mind at that time when you I was traveling, I was being responsible. Yeah. So, but then someone would still would say, oh, you should have been sitting a bit closer to them. Someone would still say, oh, you shouldn't have been traveling to that country because you know the risk. Ultimately, at what point do 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 I within myself stop blaming myself yeah. for another man's action yeah. at that time? That's why I know? said to answer your question. That's why I said in certain circumstances, and I don't find it as a victim blaming. I'm not blaming anyone for what has happened to them, but I'm saying that you have a part to play for putting yourself at risk. But you're not responsible for like the whole act or you know the sexual act or whatever that's happened. But I do feel that you have a responsibility for putting yourself at risk. Likewise, if anything else happens in your life, you know, if you've somehow put okay. yourself in that position. Okay, based that's on that, let me, let's, let's take it to the I homes. That's let's, let's take it to the homes, yeah? yeah? We are all of Liberian descent apart from uh, Davi, who's from Mauritius. Mauritius. A lot of the times in the Liberian culture, I wouldn't speak for other African countries or other countries, but within Liberia, a lot of the times, there are young children that go and live with their uncles, their aunties. And a lot of the times you have the husbands, you have the, the male relatives in those homes sexually harassing and then assaulting those girls. And mind you, rape is a form of sexual assault. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, and this is not to ask you whether the mom who sent that child to live with those people has a responsibility, um, you know, for whatever that happens to that child. So I don't want to scenario because you know, it's just like you you're, just, you're you're giving your children to people that you trust and you feel like will look after your child. How you and it's also people? and it's mm -hmm. also in your view you feel like especially in Liberia or like in other I, I can't like yeah. know, I can't speak for other African countries. But, but in Liberia well, outside most of the times when people send the kids to other people to live with is because they actually think cannot afford that they can't afford to take mm -hmm. care of their child. They want a better future I for think their child. That child living with somebody else yeah. would give them a better future, mm -hmm. i.e. Yeah. education, i.e. Yeah. a better life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you you wouldn't have the mindset that you giving your child to somebody that is family yeah. to you to look after 
is a mm. risk because they're gonna do X, Y, and Z. Mm. Yeah. You don't think uh, that's my that. sister. I've told you this before. With my shop, but, I trust nobody. Everybody. And that's is okay, but see, you're in everybody. the UK. Everybody, everybody is like a position. You're in the UK. You're in the UK. You're in the UK. Yeah. You're in the UK. 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 Right. You cannot say to me that no, it is the same. No, because it's people that about? are you serious? What are you talking about? Had you grown up, had your child been born in Liberia, yeah, and you had been in a position where you can't look after your child, that's a different that's, educate your that's child. A different, that's but these different. are reasons well, why people take earlier. their children to other people to live with, yeah, but family thought, that they feel that are better off. Like but they, 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 even, they even repeat that they can't. They even repeat that. It doesn't give them the right to rape them. Yeah. I'm not saying that anyone has the right guys, to rape guys, anybody. Okay, but I feel thing. like, as a parent, does you it mean I'm irresponsible because I give my? I feel like that's the only way. Let's be real. There are life. a lot of irresponsible. No, there are. Parents. There are. Some yeah, there are. There are. Lot, that would just um. Oh, oh my, yeah. um. You free this weekend? I want. I want party. Or, uh, let me drop a uh, 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 Jimmy to you so you can look after him. Do you know what I'm saying? But you don't know if uh, uh, auntie's husband is a gay rapist or ch um, gay uh, child uh, molester. You have to. Gay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But like, no, you see what you're saying? Do you, do you see the stereotype? Like, you're saying, why does he have to be gay? Boys can be molested too. Yeah, of course they yeah. can. Yeah. So if, if a man molests another boy, he's obviously gay. He's not straight, is he? You know, we are humans. We are more like an animal that we are trying to, you know, we've been guarded by rules and regulations. Mm. Nevertheless, some people will always be that white. People are bound to do things in society. It's just unfortunate things happen that mm -hmm. shouldn't happen, mm -hmm. right? But saying that, we can take measures. Yeah, saying I'm not like, you know what? Well, I, I think moving forward, I yeah, think James at the end of the day, no, no, go on, go on. Mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day, if it comes down to it, like we we can say, okay, this is what happens. This is what's going on. We know what's going on. Everybody has to be alert. Mm. I'm not saying you should be careless with yourself mm. and how you carry yourself. Because mm -hmm. to some degree, yes, you may have put yourself in certain situations exactly. yeah. that may have allowed certain things to happen. Yeah, exactly. But at the end of the day, it still does not make it okay yeah. for somebody else to take advantage and of that's you. Yeah, but that's not what I'm saying. And I've made but that you cannot already. then blame yourself. Yeah. For being yourself. I'm right? saying when a woman has partial responsibility, that it makes it okay for a yeah. man to rape her. Okay. I just want to make that clear. It is not okay. Sexual assault is never okay. Sexual molestation is never okay. Murder is never okay. I'm saying that you have a part in the risk. That it's like a parent that sends their child out without, you know, um, proper, oh yeah, proper yeah. principle. If anything happens to your child, you have a part to play. It doesn't make it right that someone has kidnapped your child. It doesn't make it right that someone has raped your child or molested your child. But you do have a part to play okay. in what's happened to your child. Can I, can I, I'm pretty sure almost every woman at some point in time has been in a club and a man has grabbed their butt. Yeah. Right? Really. And when you go and tell someone else, yeah, 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 just anywhere. And and unfortunately, when you go tell someone else, they're like, oh. It's okay. It's, it's, it's what it, it is. Yeah. What it is. Mm -hmm. But this You've is this is my dramatic. issue. This, this is this is my issue. Is that we normalize it so yes. much mm -hmm. to a point it's where, like it's and, okay. and, yeah. but but why should that be? Why should that be the case? Okay, there are sick people in society, but not only sick people sexually harass. Not only sick people sexually assault. There yeah. are normal. We we know men that think that it's okay mm -hmm. to touch someone inappropriately because why not? She's dressed a certain way. She wants it. What makes, have you asked her, does she, does she want it? Mm. If we take it back into the community, there's lots of guys, like even our casual friends, you know, even our, not necessarily our siblings, but like family friends and men we know, think that it's okay for them to just slap your body, okay, okay, squeeze guys, your breast, guys, and touch you D, that way. D, if I should conclude, right? <laughs> Sexual harassment, mm. as I keep saying, and I will say, is subjective, mm. and the way you think, um, 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 how I feel that I'm being sexually aroused is objective because the way I feel mm. may be different from how he feels. Mm. You may be wearing just this, seeing your sh your arms, 
You know, I'm but happy. it's not directed at you. No, it's not direct. That's why I'm saying it's objective. That's how I feel. Doesn't always feel like it's always subjective, objective, though. That you finish. Yeah. That, that's how I feel. The way I see a woman, to me, I don't. Some I would say it's not right. Hmm. He may see it's okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so can I ask you a question then? Would you then be inclined to sexually assault a woman or sexually harass a woman because? She's shown you a bit of flesh. Maybe not okay. him, but if that's what that's why I'm also saying it's different because we live in a world we are different individuals, right? Our threshold of the way we act is different. For me, for instance, you wouldn't. Under normal yeah. circumstances, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Would you in Liberia? No, I've never, and I would never do mm. that. Okay. No but this is the thing. This is what the problem is because a lot of people in Liberia would even over here. And the, is is okay. and the explanation is, well, you look for it. If you ain't wearing that short skirt with your butt, I said, I want to touch you. Mm-hmm. And people say that. And it's a shame. But people actually do say that. Things has changed. Things has no, changed. No, it's like, not changed. No, it's even it worse. Since the end of the war in Liberia, I don't think it matters rape and women. sexual violence is has high. been at the highest peak ever in the country's history. And especially among our bad. permanent politicians. Very bad. Language for at the yeah. highest ever. At the highest. Babies lying down in diapers in their mom's room, sleeping. Mm-hmm. And these men, sick people will sick go through the back men. door and go and destroy that baby because I can't even say go and touch the baby. Destroy, disembowel the baby. Ugh. So it's That's so bad. bad. And baby girls coming from school dressed up in their uniforms and these sexual predators are sat along the row, you know, trying to get their attention. And because of the poverty, so you sit on the row every time you buy that girl a little drink here and there. And she thinks, and because like Charlotte said from the beginning of this conversation, it's mostly the person who knows you that does it to you. Yeah. My final conclusion is yeah. that yeah. it is not right, it's not right to sexualize anyone, be it a woman or a man. And then whatever you do, remember, think twice how the other person feels. Of course, and that's what I was saying. I, I think my conclusion is I shouldn't have to think about what you think. You mm-hmm. understand? I, I should be myself. I should be my own person. At the same time, it is important to always be alert. Me personally, I feel like we need to educate everybody on self. I understand what you mean about self awareness, mm-hmm. yeah. but I think that there needs to be. We need to stop victim blaming. Yeah. Any viewers who might be feeling that, oh, Z thinks it's okay for women to get raped so if they get drunk or whatever. No, it's not okay. But the point I'm trying to make is that you need to hold some sort of accountability in order to prevent that from happening again. So if you know that, well, maybe you might not know that you're the type of person that if you get sloppy drunk, you're the type to, you know, start getting stripping yourself naked, putting yourself on the man. At that point, you're intoxicated, you're, you're possessed of alcohol, you don't know what you're doing. So you need to know if I'm going to go out again. I'm not going to get drunk to that extent or I'm going to drink very moderately or I'm going to drink or get drunk um, around, you know, people that I probably trust a lot more. My closing statement would be, um, I just think we should all just be responsible adults, whether children, we should all just be very responsible. And like Nana said, we should all be very aware and alert yeah, and, uh, we should treat other people how we would love mm-hmm. to be treated mm-hmm. and i feel like it might take us a long time to get there but once we start treating people the way we want to be treated and maybe and just maybe some of all of these things in a society mm-hmm. can be minimized yeah uh, my word or conclusion i don't know if i will be on the show one more time mm-hmm. you always welcome back yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the thing i want to say to like to men also is to be more respectful and it starts from our family. Yeah. Teach your, your children well and Teach. grown them properly yes. to yes. respect women, even men. Exactly. Yeah. Act properly to don't let this thing happen to you because mm-hmm. everybody deserves to be respected. Yeah. Whatever you are, a Chinese, an African, a white people or whatever you are mm. you need respect so please guys stop raping because yeah. it may <laughs> because <laughs> because <laughs> it might happen to your children also True. Yeah. Yeah.